So I'm here in the uh, cam instructor maker space today, and I'm, I'm uh, printing up a little part from my, my daughter's broken drawer. Uh, who knows how these things get broken, but uh, hey, we got a 3D printer. Might as well use it and make some uh, fresh new parts for it. Uh, so anyways, what I wanted to go over today, uh, I'm looking at this Haas control, and uh, you notice the screen behind me looks a little bit different than probably the one you're used to seeing. Those that like to customize your color on your Haas controller, I'm going to show you how to do that today and how you can actually see all the available colors to you without having to flip through each one manually. So here we are in the host control and what we're going to do first is go into settings. So I'm going to push the settings button. I want to edit setting number seven, so I'm going to key in the number seven and then push down. This brings me to setting number seven. I'm going to push right to turn this off and press enter. Next, I'm going to push the alarm button once and type in the word debug. Once we got debug in there, I'm going to push enter. Back up and click on the parameters button. Press F4, and there is our color chart. So what you can do now is just find the color that you're after, remember the number. So if I go with uh, perhaps number 168. Now to leave this screen, I'm going to push reset. And remembering again, 168, I'm going to head into settings. I'm looking for setting number 198. So type in 198 and push down. Here's where I'm going to key in the number of the color that I remembered, which was 168. Press enter. The color on the screen will update. Now to turn this debug mode back off, I'm again going to push the alarm button, type in debug, and enter. Go back into the settings, and we're again looking for setting number 7, so I'm pushing number 7 and going down pushing right to turn this back on, and push enter. So there we've gotten into that special Haas screen, or the secret Haas screen, which shows us all available colors. Uh, so you can kind of just look at the screen, figure out what it is you want, go back into your parameter number, update it, and away you go. Now, if you don't want to go through those steps of accessing that page, maybe you're a little bit reluctant, scared you might screw something up in your control, Here's option B, there's this background color reference table. And down here in the chart is a nice little uh, documentation of all the colors. I'll include a link to download this document in the blog so you can keep this on hand for your easy reference. So this method's probably much easier than guessing at colors and typing in random numbers and hoping you find something you like. So there's something you can give a try, and if anything, you know, find a better color for your own control, and maybe even annoy your coworkers by setting their colors to something completely awful.